My lovely friends, you and I have to talk. Have a seat, get comfortable, take a deep breath, and let's just do that. All right, uh, this is my post-market wrap-up on this Tuesday, October 30th, 2018. Today's stock market action was noteworthy. Why was today's stock market action noteworthy? For a few reasons. Let's talk about the ones that are... <laughs> Well, let's talk about this first. It seems to me that there are way too many bears out here. You know what I'm going to tell you. When you get too many people on one side of a trade, that means you need to automatically start looking at the other side. And I believe that's what we are seeing now. I mean, if you were to go on to... Uh, any of the mainstream media websites, you got bear call after bear call after bear call. I don't know about you, but that makes me damn bullish uh, because they're always wrong. That's the truth. So that's one factor. What is the other thing I want to enlighten you all about? Let's talk about how this market finished the day. A rally across the board, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average up 430 something points, okay, big la di da. Uh, again, I, this, this stuff, this down or up moves like this don't affect me at all. I don't care. You, you know that. But why today, why the stock market action here was noteworthy is very simple. It was not any one sector. Uh, that was driving this. This was broad-based, and how do we know that? Let's look at the S&P 500. The S&P 500 finished up about 1.5%, along with the NASDAQ about 1.5%, about the same for the Dow 30. So it wasn't like you saw a 3% gain here in the NASDAQ. You understand? This was kind of evenly spread out. This is what you want to see if you believe that stocks are going higher, all right? I've, I've been explaining to you now, uh, at least since Friday, um, I, I, this, that this market here, in the, in the, this action in the market, is the market's trying to find direction, it's trying to bottom out. Um, and I believe that today's action here is, is a sign of it. Of course, there's always those outlying events like someone firing off their mouth um, that's going to rattle the markets, you understand? But barring that, the market is trying to make some sense of what's happening here. The fact, number one, recap, too many bears out here. Too many bears. That means you and I need to start getting bullish. Number two, the broad-based rally today wasn't any one thing or any blah 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 someone almost said something bad here <laughs> any one thing that's driving this so with that said again you know I'm getting kind of a little frustrated uh, with all these these so-called experts talking about what the market's gonna do why are these imbeciles looking at the stock market to see what the stock market's going to do. Makes no sense to me. Um, you want to be looking at where? Exactly. I'm not even going to repeat it because I'm so sick of saying it. That's the truth. The bond market is stable. It's been stable now. So that, that's, that's it. So what, what this old big thing that's been going on in the market has been not so big at all. Normal market action people, and this is probably a setup for, a, for new record highs coming relatively soon, maybe over the next couple of months. Um, because again, why? World Central Banks, including the Fed, is going to keep their stinking, ugly, smelly foot to the floor, uh, pouring more cash into this market, buying everything in sight. 
uh, and that's it. And you're going to get more fake news from the source himself uh, about how everything is great. So people are going to believe it. And what are they going to do? They're going to pile into stocks. They're going to. This is what they're going to do. The big one is not here. And it will not be here until we see the bond market freaking melt down. You got it? I know you do. <laughs> All right. Look, I hope this has been somewhat enlightening for you. Uh, with that said, that's going to be it for me. Uh, I am hungry. I'm going to go out and get some food <laughs> and um, take the rest of this day off, probably. I will. See you in the morning. Bye-bye.